you are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time mineral burst yeah um, what does this look like? Do you get? Am I? Is it live now? Yeah. Oh, hey everybody! I, I didn't know we're live. There's no one here yet. Okay. Because we're on my page, and they're slow coming to my page. Oh, cool! Hey everybody, how you doing? My name's Ken Oliver, and I want, but what I want to show you is called Mineral Burst, and it's super cool. It works with Color Burst, and works with all my uh, mediums, and what it is, it's like metallic um, paint, but it's, it's water based, and it's, so it's not toxic and safe. And I don't know if you can see this on. Uh, Facebook Live there, but it's like full of minerals. So I'm gonna just make a little, we'll just make a little painting, how about that? And it'll be fast. And this will be uploaded to YouTube. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna paint a really beautiful background with mineral burst. And this is uh, platinum, so it looks almost like it's, um, you can't see it very well, I'm sure, on there. But trust me, it is really, really glistening. Hi, Joanne. Joanne has joined me in every video today so far. So it's like she's here. <laughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to put this. Up. So now I've got a beautiful background with mineral burst on it. And I'm going to tap some uh, liquid metals on it. And this is a new liquid metals. It's turquoise liquid metals. So watch what happens when I put this turquoise liquid metals on. It really reacts with the with the mineral burst. You see how that like spreads out and it's does pretty. crazy things. Isn't that wild? And then I can also add some color burst in there. And the color burst is going to do the same thing. It's going to spread out and like go crazy with the um, mineral burst. I'll put a little bit of ultramarine blue. Teal is my new favorite color this year. Oh my gosh, I love teal or turquoise. Yes. It's the color of water. And look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see it on this on your yeah. screen, but it's like really, really shimmery. Awesome. And we'll let that kind of roll around. If I want to change that up a little bit, I can spritz it with water. And that really makes it kind of changes it, gives it a different look. So I'll dry it. But that's going to be like, if I sit here and dry it, it's going to take a while. But I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Like I went ahead and stamped some images on there. Look how pretty it is. Because this will take a little while to dry. Was this done with Color Burst? It was, with Color Burst and a stencil. And look at this one. It's with my stamps and with color burst. Awesome. And liquid metals. And my new India ink. You're getting some hearts. Oh, India ink. I love India ink and watercolor together. India ink uh, and watercolor is a really old fashion technique. And um, I was able to get India ink and put it into a stamp pad. So you can now like do uh, stamped images and almost make oh, like cool. tiny paintings with watercolor and India ink. So is this new, the India ink? It is, it's brand new. And it's really, really opaque, it's very thick. It's watercolor once it's dry, or uh, waterproof once it's dry. And um, it works on glass and metal and all this kinds of things. Did you have fun? Yes. Good. Laughter, we Playing is fun. I was going to take you over. Yeah, we never got there. Yeah. Look how cool that looks. That's awesome. And I don't know if you can see, but from where I'm sitting, this thing is just like exploding yeah, it's really with beautiful minerals. Hi, everybody. Come back. We're having fun. <laughs> There's the bus ooh, I was ooh. on earlier. She was the one that I took to dinner together. I have to ride around. Faith, I want to get a picture of you two. Can I get a picture of Faith and you together? Yes. That would be awesome. Wow. This, Joe, this is, she's a star. She's fantastic. Wow. See, that, we're live. You're Jeez. live? Wow. See, look, we got a selfie together. <laughs> wow. Wait, 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 wait. Howdy from Phoenix. <laughs> 
Sorry guys, I didn't know we we're still live, but what I was doing in the meantime is I made this really beautiful shimmery background with uh, color burst and me liquid metals. Hey guys, you should come back because I've got the coolest stuff at the show now. You totally dissed me talking to Melody. I can't let's even believe you did let's, this. Let's rate him as a sales guy. What was your we'll name, sir? Here. My name is Ken Oliver. Ken, pleasure. And you guys are from the Craft Depot. Hi, Ken. How are you? Crafterdepot.com. Crafterdepot.com. Soon to be. Crafterdepot.com. Soon to be. Soon to be. Yes. Um, so I live so over in southern Indiana, like a couple hours so away from you. I live in southern Indiana. Where? Borden. Borden? I live uh, I outside live in of. Borden too. I live outside oh of uh, Newburgh. Okay, or well, I'm Indiana. more southern than you. So I'm like right across the river from in Kentucky. Me too. So, well, no, like really. No, I look out my windows and I see Kentucky. So does she. Oh no, I'm like uh, over yeah. by Illinois. Oh, okay. do, do you guys like live in the same? Yeah, exactly. They're neighbors. <laughs> they're, 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 they're next door neighbors. Are you too slow, but I'm too eleven. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna drive you crazy. I'm gonna show you like the coolest but easiest technique. First, I have to find a stencil. Wow. And uh, what we're gonna stuff is really cool. Like, what is it? <laughs> What we're gonna use is color that, burst. We like this. Is this PVC? You know, no, my friend. Oh, that's Damn, that's my cool. mixed media board. Oh. And what's so cool about this mixed media board? It's a high density um, yeah. mat board yeah. that uh, you can actually use water media on it, and it doesn't warp. Wow. So I have it in four by four, six by six, twelve by twelve, and then eleven by fourteen frame uh, with a photo cutout. Do you know what the uh, actual name of this stuff is? Yeah, but Ken Oliver. Uh, oh, you make you someone makes it for you, yeah. right? Oh. Uh, I have uh, a bunch of different channel. like all these sizes here, and it's yeah. really really dense. Nice. But, tell people to go but there. that lets you like use oh, water media on it, so cool. and it doesn't uh, war. Oh, right. Ken, I'm cool. so you no, that's the best ever craft mat. I'm doing these live. Wow. That's the other day. thing I have here that's so cool is the best ever. Oh my god. Yeah, gosh. it's the best ever that's craft mat, and it's heat resistant to 480 degrees. It's water resistant. It's skid proof. Uh, you could. I wouldn't recommend it though. Watch how cool this is, guys. Like one of my products is called Color Burst, and Color Burst is amazing because it's a watercolor pigment, but it's in a bottle and it's powder. Wow. Some of my friends call it the powder with the power because it really is. I've put down a stencil here, and I'm going to just tap a little bit of powder on it. Just tap a little bit around. You see, it's it's really. But I'm telling you, it's super intense. Can do that in <coughs> Colombia. It's something else. <coughs> no, no, no. Yeah, sorry. Just and say, somebody says, "How can you not know Ken Oliver?" Excuse me. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> so Joanne commented. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Ken Thanks, Oliver. mom. Ken <laughs> Ken <Oliver>. <laughs> 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But see, I'm not even like making sure that I get color in all of the little nooks and crannies. But it's it's just simply a, a powder. It's a powder. Literally. Dude, this is gonna blow you away. Trust all right, me. I'm psyched. It will is blow it like, you away. Is it all away. pigment or what is it? Yeah, it's all, it's all pigment. pigment. It's amazing. And look how easy it is. Yeah, it's very easy. But there's a lot of different things with it. You can you can actually paint with it. You can stamp with it. You can but do a lot of amazing. Things. This is okay. a simple simplest way to use it. Okay. We're gonna stencil with it. So I've got. I've got my pigment laid down, I've got a stencil on one of my mat boards, and I'm just going to give this a spritz of water. You see how crazy that is? And then when you lift this off, you've got that beautiful stencil design. Actually, that's very cool. It's very easy that's to do, incredible. too. Wow. Serious respect love for that. It. I, I love it. Yeah, that is great. So, uh, it's super fun. Then there are other mediums that go with it, like this is with liquid metals. And then another new medium that we have at the show this time is called Mineral Burst. And it's like really, really intense metallic water-based paint that you can use to create 
really super shimmery backgrounds. Wow, very nice. Yeah. It works well can, with. Can, can you use this as a finish over that when it dries? Uh, I mean, this lightly. will interact. How long does it take for this to if dry? It, even after that's dry, it can still interact. Yes. Okay. It depends right. on how yeah. wet you get it. Okay. If like, it's like, not, like what you just did. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to speed it up. So I'm uh, just going to dry like with this. And we could actually go back and put some of this uh, mineral burst on here. Okay. I'll show you how. Okay. But I'm going to get this dry first. Yeah, take the catalog. Yeah, please. Do you have a card check? I do. Well, do your thing. All right. But take a look around because um, I have beautiful stamps and beautiful surfaces. I have watercolor paper. This is some of my watercolor paper. It's ultra bright white paper. Wow. Do you see how bright that is? I can barely look at it. I know. Because wow. watercolor is Turning transparent. <laughs> um, the pigment, you can see through watercolor pigment. And because this paper is ultra bright white, the pigment shows up really, that really beautiful. Nice. Oh, that's very different. Oh, yeah. And I have all sizes, too. Like, there's 12 by 12 and 6 by 6. We have 8 and a half by 11, which is our most popular watercolor awesome. paper size. Um, so you wanted to see some yeah, I want to see mineral bursts yeah, on top I of do. this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint selectively. I'm going to yeah. kind of choose some areas okay. to paint. Okay, thank you. You're now, you got a catalog, you're right? Amazing. Yeah, did. And uh, if you want to set up an account, yeah. um, on the end, there's a, a little office. Yeah. You can set up an account. Oh, Everything you. today is, or this show is 10% off. Okay, thank, thank you. you and trust me, there's some of the highest trajectory selling items in the craft industry today. Right I've seen there. the numbers. <laughs> seen the numbers. Nice meeting you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So I'm going to go back with just a little bit of that okay. mineral burst and watch what happens. I'm, I'm kind of, whoa, hello. I'm going to kind of slide in here. In go front right of ahead. Him. I'm sorry. So I've got mineral burst on my brush right now, and I'm just going to go back and like almost oh, like mineralize that. Yeah. See how cool that is? Whoa! And it kind of intensifies the color again. It does. See, look at that. I'm going to be real selective about yeah. what I'm doing though, because I want to like just. That's very, very oh, cool. Yeah, that, oh. but, see, right but see, it just made, brought the depth of the color back to the surface. So I could yeah. probably like paint that little thing too. Probably come back yeah, see what happens? Oh, that is super cool. And I think Somebody's I'll, asking about the mat. It's um, one of my mixed media mat boards. Oh, the craft mat? I don't know. Which mat? mat? I think they're talking about this mat. Okay. This is, it's called the best ever craft mat. Right. I'm going to grab one off the wall so you can see it. Oops, hello. So check this out. Very it's good. the best ever craft mat. This is the craft mat size. It's 15 by 16 and it's heat resistant to 480 degrees. It's water resistant. It's skid proof so it doesn't slide around on your table. And it's also wrinkle resistant. So you can, if you wad it up, like it's not going to crack and break. And you can wash it in the washer. You can. I wouldn't recommend it many times, <laughs> but if you if you have to, you can on the gentle cycle and don't dry it. Just pull it out. Yeah, just pull it out. But look how cool that is. And I got to tell you that clean up with this uh, the best ever craft mat is super easy. Do you see how much color I have on here? In fact, like we could even make a bigger mess. Okay, so look, watch how messy that is. I'll wipe it. I'll show you. Okay, so look, I've got a ton of color. And most of the time, I know you would pick that up on a tag or something. Oh, God, yes. Okay, go ahead, Diane. You can do that. You yeah. can't stand it. <laughs> Don't want to waste it. Exactly. Do another one, Diane, for me. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. that's cool. That is cool. Here. Thank you. But watch how easy that. Oh, that's that's, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah, that's watch how beautiful and easy this thing cleans up. You just wipe paper towel across wow. it, and everything wipes right off. Even acrylic mediums, inks wipe right off. People ask me all the time to sign their craft mat. I'll try to sign it with the sharpie, and it will not stick. How much is it? They're asking. Um, oh, that's a good question. Um, I like to. My one of my things is I like to be cheap and cheerful. So the craft mat size I think is fourteen ninety nine. And we've already sold so many you wouldn't believe. We have a table size that is two feet by three feet. It's a little bit more expensive. Yeah. But at $14.99, like it's a simple price point, and this it's craft mat will change your life. It's so wonderful. Yeah. And you'll also find that there are techniques you can do. As you see, Diane here just picked up all the color off of the mat. There's a lot of things you can do by picking up color off the mat. You can use this when you're embossing. 
You can also use it with embossing um, techniques where you melt embossing powder, you know, like and a lot of it Thank at the you. time. Thank you, Ken. Cool. Thanks, Melody. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Here, -bye. Bye. take that, too. Ken, just thought we were the Oh, cool. Here's one. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time.